Okay, this is my first after the fact commentary. This is as good a place to begin it as any. Nobody will ever get this one, it says confidently. And uh, as you can see, there's that little trinket oh, um, on the other side of that little block. And the only way to get to it is to flip up this huge, long, multi screen. Uh, and as you can see right here, I'm uh, thinking, should I go back? You can actually see my indecision in the movement of the character. No, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go. And uh, I'm failing at the first hurdle here. <laughs> it's just so absurd that that little thing is just that, that little block. Stupid Captain Viridian can't just jump over or even climb over that thing. I mean, it's 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 waist high. It's a waist high. It's a waist high wall, and you can't get over it. That's the absurdity of this. And yeah, doing things the hard way. The captions at the bottom. The captions are often quite amusing. Um, can you guess if I'm going to make this one? <laughs> Benny Vidi VC. I came, I saw, I conquered, and then I slammed into a red spike and died. You know, and the worst part about it is, uh, once you've made it halfway to the top, you've got to reverse immediately before the platform crumbles underneath you, and <laughs> look, I go the wrong way. Um, and, uh, you know, then you've got a whole other chance to fuck it up. And, uh, as you can see, there's even wrong, see there, if you go the wrong way down the alley there, you just fall straight into a pit of spikes. It's so fucking unfair. But, obviously, people have managed this, but I am not one of those people. See, there's that platform, and it will, it will disintegrate <laughs> if you touch it very quickly. And, like I say, I couldn't possibly comment while playing this. It's painful enough just watching it. And it's a funny thing that it's like... Uh, it's fu See, I almost... Oh, no, that walked on my thing. It's so frustrating. Because you just, like... I've wasted. I feel like I'm wasting so much time. I could. I could. You know. I, I mean. Um, it's. It's like the gambler's fallacy. You know. I've already put 20 quid into this machine, so I should put in another so I can get back what I've. Uh, I've lost. You know. It would be foolish to stop now when I could win the next time. And so I'm doing the same thing with my time. I'm pouring in my seconds here, like one after another, constantly, just attempt after attempt. Because if I actually get that trinket, in some way it'll be worth it, you know. Um, you know it's uh, kind of a perverse kind of enjoyment, really, this game. And I, I really did enjoy it. And, you know, and thanks again to Insert This Plea for this game, but it's a kind of, it's a kind of, it's a kind of a game like having a... Oh, Having a loose tooth, you can't help pressing it. Ow! Oh look, an instantly frustrated and I just can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> now, this is a part where I was quite confused looking at this. How the fuck am I supposed to get through there? You know, a prize for the reckless. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, fuck this. <laughs> you know. And uh, you'll see later on what uh, what the method is. Oh, now I hate these moving platforms because I get so disoriented. You know, I'm I'm just something about the uh, uh, the confusion of up and down, and I'm just not doing very well here. <laughs> See, look at that. That was like, how the fuck did I do that? <laughs> I just I was trying that for a while, and then it just happened. Now see, that's how you do it. You have to get that thing moving and then go back. And I'm like, as soon as I realise that, I think, fuck that. Ah, Viridian, you got off the ship too. It's good to see you're okay, Professor. The ship okay is badly damaged your file. It's been working on it. We can use your help. I've rushed through that because <laughs> I wasn't reading at the time. Background experience in this dimension. We're the ship from finding a teleport. We've all been teleported to different locations. Oh, that sounds about right. Let's get back to the ship then. After you, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> I can read fast and I can talk. <laughs> Yay! I'm about halfway through the game. Oh no! Yeah, more than halfway through at this point. Ah, 
This is interesting. Captain, have you been here before? What? Where are we? I suspect someone deflected our teleport transmission. Oh no! She tried to get, find a teleport and get back. Now this part is a different um, section of the game where the Tellery will basically he'll he'll try, <laughs> see I'm just instantly failing. He'll walk in your direction if he's on the same follow me, Robbie only can if he's on the same uh, floor. So basically, if you're upside down, he won't follow. If you're the right way up, he uh, he will follow, as you can see. You can't move to the next screen until he's across. And he doesn't follow, like, directly to himself. I'm a bit confused by it here at this point. I don't really understand. Um, but... Uh, yeah, as you can see, he sort of follows a little bit behind you. So you've got to direct him. Why can't he just use his own fucking common sense? I don't know. He's a bloody dumbass. What do you make of all this, Professor? I'm guessing this dimension has something to do with the interference, something. Maybe we'll call it re really? Well, it's just a guess. We need to go back to the ship or we can do any real tests. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I did read that properly. So, see, now, <laughs> the nice touch that when Vitalari dies there, she, actually, I keep saying he, don't I? Um, they're all female, despite lack of any sexual characteristics or even non-sexual characteristics on these uh, creatures uh, I don't know, are they supposed to be human or aliens I'm not, I'm not even sure yeah see this is a bit tricky because you've got to avoid bringing her forward by standing on that platform, but you've got to stand on that platform to get down there so it's a bit tricky it's, it's there you've got to, oh, and then I figure that part out and fuck up the next bit Gotta jump and then immediately flip. Yeah. Oh, so that was close. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. This bit's funny. Oh, what was that? What was what? That big C thing. I wonder what it does. Uh, I don't really know how to answer that question. It's probably best not to acknowledge that at all. Maybe we should take it back to the ship and study it. We really shouldn't think about it too much. Just keep moving. <laughs> nice breaking of the fourth wall there. Now, this part. I, I got so pissed off, I actually rage quitted after after a while in this. Uh, just At first I was just completely flabbergasted as to what you were supposed to do. What you've got to do is, you've got to first go underneath, uh, you know, on the bottom of them, upside down, and then get onto that little bit on the right, and it, oh, it's just unbelievably frustrating. In fact, I'm just going to cut to the part where I actually succeed. Now here's my successful attempt. You have to jump up and down this platform to make him move forward. I don't know why you can't just give him instructions. It's so surreal and nonsensical, but there I managed it. But that's only half the story. Now I've got to jump back across and avoid getting my head pushed into those spikes. And now I've got to go back across again. And yeah, thank fuck there's a checkpoint. I wonder if there's anything else worth exploring. We should probably just focus on finding the rest of the crew now. God damn it. Now this is part of the game called the Tower. Where the screen is constantly advancing with those spikes at the bottom. Um, and you've got to just quickly get through this damn thing. And uh, it amazes me there's actually a mode of this game where apparent, apparently you're, you only get one life and you're supposed to just finish the game with one life. I just find that completely... Anyone who can do that is 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 not human, <laughs> in the nicest possible way. Yes, Captain. Uh, I mean, this is am I ever glad, Vermilion? What's the situation? Passage of time. I see. You. Better be back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. Yeah. But can you guess? It's gonna go wrong again. One remains. Uh oh. Not again. Vermillion, where are you? Whee! <laughs> Hang on, I'll save you. And as you can see, with the wrapping around of the screen here, the dim this dimension is getting gnarled and twisted around upon itself. And, uh. Ah, here, the Gravitron. This is, um. Basically. Well, you've got to survive for 60 seconds, as it says. 
Fortunately, it sort of saves your timer at every five seconds, so you see it starts again at 55. This takes me a surprisingly long time. It's actually really quite difficult. <laughs> so I'll cut to something later on, because this will get tedious. Okay, this is part where the game gets really trippy. As you can see, the dimensions are wrapping around upon each other, so that um, basically it's like an Asteroids game, where the, the edge of the screen is the next... It is the same screen, you know, it wraps around. So this is like a curved dimension thingy, what's it? And uh, it, ta it takes a little getting used to. Yeah, this part was particularly tricky. I spent ages on this, so I'm going to skip past it. So after all that bastarding shit, uh, I finally find Vertigris. I'm trying to get out, but I keep going around in circles. Come from the ship, I'm here to teleport you back. Is everyone alright? She's fine, she's back on the ship. Blah blah blah. Let's go. And uh, here's a quick little example. Green dudes can't flip. Murdering twin maker. It's weird. I don't... <laughs> That's fine, look at that. It's mostly what it's like to be a director doing a director's commentary. I, uh... Directors talk too much about the damn lighting and the shit like that. Wanna hear about the story, damn it? Yeah. I prefer writers or actors' commentaries. Anyway, I'm none of those, so. Now that was the final crew member. So are we done here? Welcome back. Dot dot dot. Where's Captain Viridian? Uh. Shit. Hello? Is anyone there? Temporary fault. Do not adjust the V-hold. <laughs> Making the service will return shortly. Origami room. I don't know why it's called that. Oh, it's because it's folded in itself. Yeah. You see, that's confusing. You end up... Yeah. Oh, oh this bit's tricky. I've just been saying that a lot, haven't I? We're commenting, oh look, this bit's hard. So here we are, roughly the, at sort of the end of the game. And Captain Viridian had disabled the d dimensional stability generator and escaped into outer space after the whole dimension exploded or something. And that's it! And here are the final stats of how many flips I did, how many times I died. And uh, yeah, do try to keep up. That was the fucking hardest room, absolutely. So this was a great game. And there's more to discover. Um, I haven't explored the whole thing, I just rescued all the crew members. It gives you the opportunity to uh, continue. And fortunately my crew members are now beaming me in. Any moment now. There she is. Hello! Captain! You're alright. I knew you'd be okay. We were very worried when you didn't come back. When you turned off the source of the interference, we were able to find you with the ship's scanners and teleport you back on board. That was lucky. Thanks, guys. Girls. It looks like this dimension is starting to destabilize, just like our own. We can stay and explore for a little longer, but eventually it will collapse completely. There's no telling exactly how long we have here, but the ship's fixed, so as soon as we're ready, we can go home. What now, Captain? Let's find a way to save this dimension. And a way to save our home dimension too. The answer is out there somewhere. Let's go. Yeah. Fun game. Brilliant music. Deceptively simple uh, graphics. And uh, yeah. That's about all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, categorized lists of all my videos can be found at tinyurl.com slash jimplays.